On behalf of Governor DeSantis and myself, we are so excited with not only what's going on here, but with what's going on in the entire state. We've seen a tremendous boom, and actually during the pandemic, um, when many businesses were struggling, space, I would say, is the one bright spot in our economy. Good morning and thank you for being here today. Kelly, this is your babies. Uh, I'm representing the Jacksonville Aviation Authority Board of Directors. Uh, let you know uh, that we're excited about this, this opportunity. My success is due to this community. I got to learn after I was accepted as an ass, I was at a party not long after we came in, my group did in, Jan in July 10th of 1978. And one of the people who'd been on the select selection committee was at the party and I had to ask him, I said, why was I selected? And he said, well, we were looking for pilots and I had been a fighter pilot, 166 combat missions in Vietnam. And we were looking for engineers and I later became a professor of electrical engineering and associate dean of the FAMU FSU College of Engineering and physician. And I was a licensed physician for almost 30 years, although I really didn't practice being at NASA as I was. And he said, well, you were a pilot, you were, we, he said, we were looking for pilots, we were looking for engineers, and we were looking for physicians, and you were all three. And I was really disappointed, because I really thought it was primarily on the basis of good looks. <laughs> <laughs> I do appreciate you having me here today. I am really awed by the honor, and I thank you very much. Ben? And it reads, Dr. Norman Thagard, Cecil Spaceport Mission Control Center, 2021, in honor of his service to his country and dedication to the advancement of space travel and exploration.